Primary Constructors is a C Sharp 12 feature that allows you to change the default way of initializing a class by adding parameters. Stay tuned as we'll show you how to add them, what happens when you explicitly add a constructor to a class, and how it can benefit when using dependency injection. Remember to hit the subscribe button or go to youtube.com slash at the code to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're looking for a job as a .NET developer, check out our C-sharp coding challenges. Go to roundthecode.com slash challenges. In a C-sharp class, if you don't add any constructors to it, it will add a default parameterless constructor. This will enable you to initialize the class. So in this employee class, there's clearly no constructors in it. So in order to initialize that, we declare a local variable and just call new employee. Now, if we want to add parameters to a constructor, we can go ahead and define a constructor. So with the employee, what we want to do is we want to add the working hours. So what we can do is we can add a couple of parameters. We're going to add the start time, and we're also going to add the finish time. Now, the problem we've got with this is that these parameters can only be used within the constructor. They can't be used within the class. If we want to go ahead and add these values to the class, we'd have to declare some local fields to the class and then add the values from the parameters into the fields, a little bit like this. This means that we can now use the underscore start time and underscore finish time within the class, not just in the constructor. Now this adds a lot of code bloat to the class. Now with primary constructors in C-sharp 12, what we can do is we can add the parameters to the class. As a result, we can go ahead and remove all of this. The start time and the finish time can now be used throughout the class. To demonstrate this, we're going to add a new method and we're going to get the start time. So we're going to call it get start time. And then we're simply going to go ahead and return the start time parameter that we're passing in as part of the class. Now you can still go ahead and define constructors when using primary constructors. However, when you go and do that, you're going to get this exception that says a constructor declared in a type with parameter list must have this constructor initializer. What this essentially means is that we need to define the values for the start time and the finish time. So for the start time, we can create a new time span of nine hours and we can do the same with the finish time. We're going to declare it as 17 hours. And you need to do that regardless of whether you're adding parameters to the constructor. We can also use primary constructors in dependency injection. So with this employee controller, we're injecting the employee service and then we're declaring it as a private read-only field. Now what we can do with primary constructors is add the parameter to the class like so. As a result, we can go ahead and remove all this code here and we can still use the underscore employee service throughout the class. Just a reminder that these are parameters and can be used inside the class. If you wish to use them outside the class, they need to be used in either a method, a property, or a field. Primary constructors help reduce some significant code bloat when initializing a class, and therefore they are a great addition to C Sharp. Thanks very much for watching, and hit a like on the video.